Well, this is a parade that started, I don't know, uh, I it came out to you photograph it. It was already going for a half an hour, and by the time I left, it went on for another half an hour. And I don't know what holiday it was, but it was a big one. And, of course, the Paseo Monte was right outside our door, so that's what woke us up. And Joan says, there's a parade over there. It's about a half a block away. So I went over, and I took a look at it. It looked like a monster, so I figured, well, let me just go and take some pictures of it. And I caught just a little piece of it, and I cut most of the video out uh, just so I could fit it into four or five minutes, you know. But um, there must have been half the population of Merida out in the parade, and uh, a lot of drum and bugle and a lot of uh, native costuming was going on. If the soundtrack sounds a little crazy to you, it's because I kept both soundtracks of both parts of the film going, and it's something like the sound of Mexico anyway, you know. It's always loud, and it's always confusing. Uh, we were looking for a place to live when we first came here uh, two or three weeks ago. We had a friend of a friend who only spoke Spanish come to pick us up, he and his wife, and they took us in a Volkswagen down to a, a neighborhood which proved to be too far, and it was... Uh, but they were on the cell phone with the radio with the Volkswagen going full blast, talking to the real estate agent and screaming into it. They never thought to turn down the radio. Basically, the more noise, the more music, the better. That's the, that should be the national motto, rather than valor, courage, and fortitude, whatever it happens to be. But uh, the Mexicans love the parades, and, and it was a terrific one. Let me tell you, it, it came from mostly school kids, and I cut out most of the kids who were bored, didn't want to be there. You, you see them in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, too, and the rest of it. But the kids who wanted to be there, they had some pretty fancy shows, and like this one right here, this band here, which was uh, called the Band of War, it was a, it was a pretty snappy, it looked a little Japanese to me, you know, to tell you the truth, but that's the, na that's the nature of their uniforms. And, um, These are the girls from the Small Perfect Breast School. It's a, it's a, it's a secondary school. I, I had to get it in. Uh, and, of course, some more drummers. The drummers came in very casual clothes, or they came in very kind of you know, snappy clothes. And there was a lot of um, uh, banner waving and pom-pom going and, and things like this. And here's some of the, the festive kind of the, the native costume. This is... They're out to get us again. This is the remember the Alamo, you know, whatever. But the, the, but the kids are having a great time. That that the parade starts at uh, eight in the morning because it gets hot here, you know, and the kids don't want to be out in those uniforms. And I think the parade takes so long. Probably it just wound up. It's uh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon as I'm recording this, and uh, from the noise outside, it stopped about an hour ago which would be about 12 o'clock, and it started around 8, so that's just outside the house here, you know. So you get some idea of what goes on in Mexico. They have more holidays um, than we have crooks in the U.S., which is a, which is a pretty big number if you're, if you're following the Wall Street thing and all the rest of it with all of the high rollers who just don't have any conscience at all about what they do. Uh, just make more bucks and uh, fuck everybody else, you know. So I hope to put a lot of them in jail, or else they send them down to walk around the streets of Mexico where they get be pelted with the soft oranges, which is another word for rotten. And they had some gymnasts out there, too, and besides, you know, every... In fact, I got out of there before they started the floats. The floats were going to go on for hours, so we got just the, the kids who were marching, and there were kids doing acrobatics on the street, you know, from the acrobatic schools. You'll see one in a second. Come down, there's all the way down for miles and miles and miles doing... Those, uh, whatever they call them. Here's another one doing the hip-hop move, you know, so... Hip-hop is all over the place. It, it's kind of big here in Mexico. It always has that romantico, you know, the singers, the cantantes, but it has its rap going on, too. see a little bit of it. There were some of the girls here did their routines to hip-hop. Most of them were the kind of traditional Mexican music, and here are some the veterans or the paraplegics uh, who were in the parade, too, and see the little bag, a little kind of a duty bag on the back of the horse. Uh, Merida is 
known as the clean city, so they don't want any dog or horse droppings on the street, so they pick them up, so they just drop in as they go. So I just wanted to show you that, so if you have a sharp eye for it. Anyway, we wanted to put the Mexican colors, the green and the red and the white, into the title, so we go ahead and we did that. And you'll sometimes see that some of the groups have that um, red, green, and uh, white color, but so often they don't. Sometimes it's just green, sometimes it's red, or whatever. And here's uh, that the Japanese style band, you know, followed by the pom 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 girls. The always popular pom pom girls in any culture. What can we say? We love them.